everybody, my name is Brian Kelly, and welcome back to Talk of the Town. It's that time of year again, folks. That's right, we're getting ready for the Milton Music Fest and Fireworks, and this year we're adding another special edition. We're going to have a Celtic Sunday. So I have some guests with me today. We have Linda Lee Sheridan from Wham! Uh, we Are Milton, correct? So glad to be here, Brian. And we have, you know who? Chief Wells, Chief Richard Wells, who's helping us out with the uh, the Celtic Sunday. He's got some great ideas for that. Uh, he knows about the bands and stuff. He's going to share that with us today because I'm clueless on that stuff. But uh, so no folks, kidding. <laughs> <laughs> put it on your calendar. Hold up. What date is it, Linda Lee? Oh, it is Saturday, June 21st, starting at 6 p.m. Actually, this says 6 p.m., but we have now changed that. It's actually 5 p.m. Does it say 6 p.m. on there? It does. 5 p.m. <sighs> and starting at 5, we're You're having fired. some awesome... <laughs> entertainment it's going to be called wham jam and wham jam is all we are milton wham stands for we are milton wham jam is all milton folk yes i get the names and you got steve cousineau say. we got kevin dombrook and his daughter Maraid. we have frank graham we have jeff stoke we have claudia wellington just to name a few and uh they're going to be um from five to six they're going to be entertaining the folks um up on the LA. what do you think of the field looks good doesn't it folks we just cut it Mm -hmm. Chief, be careful, you know. I know. The, the grass is still a little tough on the feet, so. But well, let's uh, tell them why we go there. Let's tell them why. We, why why do we go up so there? When our chair of the 350th put the 350th committee together and we were going to have the fireworks, there was some discussion, and it was actually, I think, years ago, the first time I ever heard it, some organization wanted to have fireworks in the Milton Deposit River Basin. But the other thing that we knew from the policing side is every year in September, I believe it is, or it used to be in September, it was the BCN Fireworks Harbor Fest, which was shot from by the aquarium, one of the prime areas to watch. Hutchinson Field. It was Hutchinson Field. Field. So if you can see them from Boston Harbor at the aquarium, which is six miles away, how would they be if we shot them from the Ponce River 150 right yards them. away? And we saw proof was in the pudding last year. So exactly. we're just going to duplicate our success and build on it. So yeah, it really did start with the 350th, Richard. You're right. We had such a good response from what people, how people felt about the sense of community, people coming together and having an opportunity for people to gather in one place and celebrate our wonderful town. So uh, the next year we kind of came together and formed this group, We Are Milton, and decided that we'd try to make this an annual event. So this is our second year. And um, again, this year we're starting at five o'clock and because it's on June 21st, which happens to be the longest day of the year, the fireworks probably won't go off till close to 10, maybe quarter of 10. Um, so it's a really fun-filled evening that we have planned for you. And um, where do we get the financing for the Milton Music Festival? Well, fireworks? that's the brilliance of it all. It's thanks in, to the incredible generosity of the Copeland Family Foundation who have supported this community in countless ways, so many different ways, but um, they've agreed to support us in this way and we're just thrilled. Believe me, it makes it a lot easier on us. It's Last very year difficult. We, I think we had <coughs> close to 3,000, between two and 3,000, oh yeah, would easily, you say? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and people came, families came out and they had brought their you know, blankets and set up for the evening and it was just a great, way to celebrate a beautiful summer evening and relax with friends and neighbors. It's actually hard to believe we had that many people considering what happened, we, what we happened that weekend. We, we dealt with a mother nature, nature curveball last year, which was a either a hurricane storm, or a tropical storm, right. and we wound up postponing from Friday to Sunday, right. and we still got quite a crowd. So, I mean, it's a great thing for our community. Um, I suppose from my perspective and the policing perspective, one of the things that we always hear from parents is, you know, what is there more for families to do? And we do have some events, but we've like we never had a parade. We had a parade to put on. Um, we, not, not like that, you know, like a parade to the magnitude of the 350th was huge. Right. Um, the success we had of the 350th fireworks at the high school and then just putting our foot in a little bit in the water and trying this last year, it was a great night. I mean, really, we didn't have any problems, no issues. And so now we're able to actually build upon it and do a two-day event. And it'll be a great weekend for everyone in town. So let me just describe a little bit what oh it yeah, looks tell like the folks about it. when you Linda get Lee. there. So Hutchinson Field, if you don't know where it is, of course you can see it in the background here, but 
Um, it's on, on Adams Street and looking over beautiful downtown Boston. It has just such a spectacular <coughs> um, view. And Adams Street itself will be closed down right in front of the Forbes House Museum. So on that Saturday, yeah. On, on Saturday, Saturday night, yeah. right. We'll close around 5 o'clock. Maybe you should talk a little bit about the parking too. But um, So the, the street will be closed down. We'll have all sorts of food vendors. We'll have the Sausage King. We'll have pizza, fried dough, french fries and chicken. Ice some cream. Some slush and some ice cream. There'll ice be cream. And more <laughs> ice cream. Because of Brian, we had to get a lot of ice cream. <laughs> Are we going to have ice cream this yes, year? Yes, we will have ice cream. And there'll be something for everyone. We also have some really special activities planned for children this year. So because we pushed it up to 5 o'clock, we've added in some special activities. We're going to have some glitter sticks, uh, glow sticks available to purchase for families. We have um, base, painting. base painting and glitter um, tattoos. And we also will have some very special guests. Can you tell who the very special guests are that are going to Well, be we got a, a great lineup. We got, um, as a matter of fact, we have kids yes. karaoke. Okay. Such, such oh, you mean the guests? Yes. Oh, well, you tell them. Well, we have Elsa. What's the song with Elsa? Oh, I can't even sing, but we have some great people. You're not going to sing it? No, you know no. the song, don't you? <laughs> Molly's got to have a song. Well, Molly does, but I don't. Let I it go and let, let it go. go. So, the folks, let it go and come to the show. That's, there you go. Elsa was oh. from American Idol, correct? Frozen. Oh, the voice. Frozen. Oh, Frozen. No, this okay. is this is um. So one of the characters. She'll okay. be here, and we'll also have Spider-Man and Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse will be joining That's right. us. Yep. Throughout the afternoon to visit with our, our younger friends. So come yeah. early because because those characters will be there early. The so afternoon. let's talk a bit about parking. So on Saturday night, um, Adams Street, Adams Hill will be closed at five o'clock between uh, Canton Avenue, Colin Gleason Funeral Home, and uh, Lab uh, actually it's La yeah, Library College. And we've secured both Library and Fontblanc for parking. We'll run shuttle buses continuously. From there, right to the front of the field and drop off. There will also be public parking available all along Adams Street on the Font Font side from Algerian Corner, which is Center Street, all the way up to Churchill's Lane. On the other side, the Milton Village side, there's parking available in the Transit lot, the Wharf Street lot, all along Wharf Street, although the area to the Wharf down by the Yacht Club will be closed off for the members of the Milton Yacht Club. They're going to have their own event there. Um, There'll be parking along Randolph Ave, Brook Road, Adams Street. And when you go to wearemilton.org after tomorrow, you'll be able to see all the public parking, what's available. And we'll run shuttles continuously right up until the fireworks, and we'll run them for a good period of time afterwards, get people back to their cars. And I think we have seven shuttle buses, so that's more than enough. So it'll be a great time, and we want to make this very amenable and easy for everyone to get there. Great. It'll be fun. And who else we have coming? Well, tell us about the All right, so we got the other one was we got, you know these two girls, right? Do you know these girls here? I do. So six o'clock. Kelly and Caitlin Neville are going to be performing, and they're Milton favorites. They truly are. They they joined us last year for a little bit, and um, they won some awards, didn't they? they? Did. Some country western awards. Some rising star awards. And Kelly's going to be so uh, has been offered a contract, a six month contract in Disney World. So we're so excited for her. So we're they'll be joining us for a night. Yes. At six o'clock, so and we, we have hear them. what's the uh, radio host from Hot Nine Sixty? Was it ninety sixty nine uh, nine? Or Jackson, 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 Blue. Blue. Jackson Blue. Jackson Blue. Jackson Blue. I knew it was a color. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Jackson and Blue. he's going to be um, the MC, DJ, the MC DJ for the night. And he's going to be running the kids karaoke. So if your children want, if you can get a now, to, in order to accommodate more people, we want them to come up in groups. So if you get some kids in your neighborhood, get, a, get put some groups together. They do kids karaoke on the big stage. And if you're going to do karaoke, we want you to get there early because we want to get you signed up because we've only got certain time slots. And That's right. Although the good thing is that it's June and was we were last year, sunset is later than it is in August. So we probably will be able to go close to almost 10 o'clock, 9, 45, 10 o'clock before we're firing up those spectacular fireworks. Yeah. And if you got young children and you're concerned about the length of time and you have like a little pup type of something, bring it. And then when it gets later and the kids are tired, you can let them yeah. lay on a blanket and... Uh, you know, they'll have fun. And let's talk about, we know that one of the things we learned last year logistically was that we never realized there might be a little bit of a tick issue at Hutchinson Field, even though we cut the grass, mowed it. So this year, for parents who are watching, to kind of put you a little bit at ease, That's right. we've started mowing the lawn a, a week or two weeks ago. 
and we're not only having a cut weekly, and then on the last week we're having it cut and bagged, but we're bringing in a company who's treating the entire area, both for ticks, and then we'll have it treated for mosquitoes. So and the tick is an organic we, treatment. Yeah, the right. tick is an organic treatment. Safe and even though and we're going to tell you parents to kind of like watch them, but it will be uh, much, and we're cutting the grass all the way down to the tree line this year, which we did last year, and we kids played games, they were running all over the field. This year we're dealing with the entire field so that um, the tick issue is not a uh, not But something you again, you might want to put on the kids' socks and long pants anyways. It's not a bad idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we'll have a, a first aid tent there with anything that you might need that night to take care of any amenities. And we've covered is everything in the food and drink um, categories, probably like sodas, juice, things like that. And we'll have plenty of food, but we'll also have you know bug spray, things like that. We'll have that all in the medical tent for us to leave. It, the auxiliary did a great job. They'll do a great job again this year. And two generators. And we have two generators. And we're bringing two generators if you were there last year. <laughs> we had a little bit of a generator else. delay last year. <laughs> two generators. That won't happen again. That, it won't no. happen. And um, again, we had, last, it was called the Clifton Academy of Irish Dance. Actually, there's been a merger, so now it's the Brady Academy of Irish Dance. And they'll be back. And um, they were fun to, to watch and, and, and see. They're, they're beautiful on the stage. Mm -hmm. So they're going to be on the stage. Um, Rebecca Lieberman. She was on the stage last year, remember? Yep, she sang with the high school chorus. Blue sky yeah, shining yeah. on me. Okay, tell us about little Rebecca. So Rebecca's a Milton High School graduate. She's a very talented young lady, and she attends Berkeley College, and she's going to be performing this year with her band. And they perform all around the local area. They're just great to listen to, and I'm sure you will really, really enjoy her hour of entertainment. What time is she on? Uh, Rebecca is going to be on at 7.45. So, and pretty much half hour. Right, 7 to 8.15. Yeah, right. About, about each group is about half hour. Right. And then uh, um, after her, we have um, one of the contestants from, I believe, the sixth season of The Voice, uh, Rhea Eaton. And um, you go on YouTube and you can look her up. Rhea, R-I-A, Eaton, E-A-T-O-N. And uh, she's just a fabulous young woman. And she often come down and, and uh, entertain you, and uh, I think you're going to really enjoy it. She was picked by both uh, Shakira and Blake. Blake. And, Not uh, that I know. Yeah. She, can probably, she can probably tell you some good stories about that whole experience. Okay. but uh, She's a local girl. She's from she's Massachusetts. Yeah. and she's, she's from Bill Ricker. Yeah. She's really excited to be joining us, and um, if you want to hear her sing, um, her, the song that she performed to, for the audition was really, it was just yeah. such a beautiful voice. You're going to be and a, that raspy a fun, voice. I know, it was really Like I have, I got the sinus cold, I got the raspy voice. <laughs> but, um, and then we have the uh, Quincy Choral Society coming in, so we'll have about 50 singers on the stage, and um, they just got back from Washington, D.C., and they were invited to the Kennedy Center and, pl and sang patriotic songs um, for the 70th anniversary of D-Day, and uh, they're very excited about that, so they're going to be a treat. And then we got a surprise after that. What's going to happen after the Quincy Choral? We have the Boston Senior Crusaders Drum and Bugle Corps. Do you want to play the, the no, bass drum? No, that? no, but uh, they will be the final kickoff. We will actually have a little bit of a parade in front off of Adams Street right up to the main stage. And how many of them are there? How many? Oh, there'll be about 70 or 80 so, of them. And they are going to do the final concert of the night on the 21st, just prior to the kickoff of the fireworks. And then the fireworks will be synchronized to music like they were last year. Yes, they will. So that'll be very exciting. If the Boston Pops can do it, we can do that's it. Right. That's, right. that's right. So that's that's Saturday. Okay, then you go home and you rest up because... Everybody except Brian who's asking to sleep overnight <laughs> in a tent I'm not sleep and over. field. I'm not going to sleep <laughs> over. Unless you got a nice motor home you want to lend me. Yeah. <laughs> and so what's happening on so Sunday? We had talked collectively. It's been such a a success for us is we wanted to add a second day so a lot of people have stepped up to help us finance the second day and we're still looking for a little bit more help to do that but on Sunday Milton has always had very deep Celtic roots and there were several people including one of our selectmen Dennis Cohane who had the idea that let's put on a Celtic Sunday so we have scheduled beginning at one o'clock on Sunday straight through until seven o'clock is that six hours yes six hours of continuous music nonstop on the main stage. And it will begin at one o'clock, and I believe the first band is a very popular band in Boston. It's uh, called, they're called the Fenian Sons. What's uh, it called? The Fenian Sons. And two of them are police officers, one of them's a firefighter. Mm. Uh, actually one of them, Billy Carey, who I know very well, is one of the firefighters who sings in the 
Boston Player Quartet and sang at the finish line of the marathon. Wow. Wow. So they're a very high energy, well followed band that they'll be leading off. We also have uh, a local band who's, who's played for many years in the Irish Circle in Metro Boston, but performed uh, in our own parks, you know, Summerfest every year on the gazebo. Margaret Dalton and Aaron's Melody, and they'll be there. We have a third band which was recommended to us by Brian O'Donovan from WGBH, who really was a big help to Mary Swanton from East Milton, who's done a lot of work with the music on this. Brian O'Donovan recommended this band, Cat in the Moon, which are more of a bluegrass, mm -hmm. Celtic folk type of band, and uh, we brought them in. So we want to kind of like change it up all day long. Then we have a local band with a girl that I happen to know, um, and I didn't. Who would that be? Just a girl named Pauline. So we have <laughs> Pauline Wells and Devery, who have <coughs> done a okay in their own right. And then as our headliner, we are bringing over one of the biggest bands from Ireland, and it's really amazing that we're able to do Pauline. this. <laughs> yeah, is we're bringing uh, Frankie Gavin and Dadan. And uh, how do you say that? Dadan. Dadan. Dadan or Dadan. They used to say Dadan, and I call it Dadan. It depends. What part of Ireland? And they are fl they are flying here from Ireland. They arrive on Saturday, and uh, they will be closing it out on Saturday night and on Sunday. Sunday night. I'm sorry, on Sunday night. And uh, again, on it's Sunday. We change the food a little bit. We're bringing an Irish tent for tea and pastries and scones. And we're trying to have sausage rolls for Brian because he wants to have breakfast at seven <laughs> o'clock in the morning. But we will have <laughs> Sunday. We will have a, a a pub tent. We're doing a one day that on Sunday we'll have fish and chips, sausages, hot dogs, everything. Some games for kids, and uh, we'll have a great afternoon. The only thing you really need to bring on both days that we're asking people to bring is either a blanket or a chair. And right. some cash That's if you want to buy some food. Yeah, if you want to buy yeah. some food. That's it. We do have some nice T-shirts <coughs> for the Milton Music Festival. So. Admission to both days is free. There is no cost to any attendee. Not to park or to attend. So the only other thing we need from people. What do we need? We need them to pray for good weather. We want a day like, well, it's Friday when we're filming. We want a good day. It will be a great have day. Faith. And we'll if be great. by we any chance we don't have a good day on Saturday. We're still going to bring your umbrella. No, we'll, just we'll, we'll push the Saturday activities to, to Sunday, Sunday night and, and still have our. Or Sunday to Saturday, or depending Sunday on Saturday, the yeah. thing. Yeah. Just check w the website, wearemilton.org. We'll have all the updated information. So especially if the weather is iffy that week, check in with right. the website. And we'll have updates, the times, uh, My Time Matters, Patch. Um, we'll give a press release. We gave a press release for the Grove. Uh, WRL, the Irish Hit Parade on Sunday, uh, Saturday and Sunday has been covering both the whole weekend for us. So we really wish that, you know, it's, it's pre-4th of July, we're still all here. School's still in session here? Yes. Yeah. So come on out and have a great weekend because we're really, I work for the town, but you guys are volunteers and there's been some, a lot of people behind this that do some great work. And, and if anyone does want to volunteer, we don't need a lot that we discussed last night. Mm -hmm. Go to wearemilton.org. There'll be a, a contact a contact there for volunteers. If anyone does want to volunteer, that'd be great. We'll take a little bit of help. And we do Thank have you. 100 of these signs that hopefully you'll see around town in the next um, few days. But if you have, if you live on a main road and would be interested in having one of these outside your yard, we're trying to, we're charging $10 to help us defray the cost of the signs and go towards the um, great event. So if you would be willing to put one of these in your yard, just let Brian Kelly or myself know or go on wearemilton.org and contact us through that. Especially so. if you have a good location where lots of cars go by right. your house. <laughs> right. right. And talk to your neighbors. You know, This is a great event. Come up with your families. Uh, spend the evening on Saturday night in the afternoon on Sunday and just uh, – it just will be a real wonderful experience. And you yeah. can like us on Facebook, too. We put lots of updates on that. So we are Milton on the fa a Facebook page. Because this field, look at this field. It's empty now, but it's going to be unbelievable. <laughs> I'm He's the biggest you, kid in town right here. <laughs> and when you hear, I'm talking, <laughs> we're talking like a, a horn line of 50 or 60 horns going up. That they don't even need speakers. You understand? It's just going to be, it's going to be breathtaking. So... I'm just so excited, and I'm excited to hear those Irish bands. Because I, am too. I told one of my neighbors, I go, I told him that, that I go some band to Dan, and he goes, oh, they're one of the best in Ireland. He says, I mean, he knew right away. Someone you know. came up to me last night. First thing, words out of their mouth was, "How in God's name did you guys ever land to Dan?" And I'm wow. like, "Wow." So we were lucky. We were yeah. lucky. We and know a lot people. of people. A lot of people came to help us. So yeah. that's been great, and it's nice to do good things, isn't it? It really is. All out of Building Command community. Central on Clifton. <laughs> That's right. Clifton. Command, <laughs> is that, this is, I may be the chief, but this is the Supreme Allied Commander <laughs> over here. Not really. <laughs> Folks, again, hey, thank you for tuning in, and uh, we look forward to 
see you at We Are Milton at the uh, Milton Music Fest and Fireworks and on, on uh, June Sunday. 21st and Celtic Sunday, Sunday right. on June 22nd. Yeah. So, again, check out the website, wearemilton.org. Again, come up to the field. Check it out. It's going to be a blast. We'll see you there. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hello everybody, my name is Brian Kelly and welcome back to Talk of the Town.